Hey guys, we're gonna talk about streamers in here, and then we have three good ones, all right? We're gonna talk about, uh, you know, the pros and cons between each one of them, and uh, let's get to it. And here we have the Sim Audio Moon 390. We have the new, absolutely new Lumen T3, and of course the Hi-Fi Rose RS150B. Uh, let's talk about uh, the first thing. You know, a lot of people ask me, oh, which one sounds the best? Well, I'm gonna get to that into a little bit later, okay? Let's talk about good things about the Moon, good things about the Lumen, good things about the Hi-Fi Rose, and then the bad things uh, on each one of them, and let's see what's happening, all right? Now, the Sim Audio Moon, beautiful device, sounds excellent, it's a preamp, it's got a built-in phono stage, it is impeccable, the build quality, it is superior, you can actually feel that it's a premium device, and it's beautiful, okay? The only drawback, okay, the only thing that is not that good about the Moon, it is the app okay that is it that is the app i mean moon if you're if your customers are paying premium price for a device like this come on guys i mean you the app it should it should be a lot better now i'm talking about android because i'm an android user you will not catch me dead with a uh, iphone in my hand never but uh, on on the app on this one, it's it's it, it needs a lot of work. Uh, it's got a rating of only 2.3, which is uh, hideous. Now let's talk about the Lumen. Lumen is a brand new device. It just came out just uh, like a week ago or two. And here I have one. This is the Lumen T3. Gorgeous device, premium feel, beautiful. The application, it's uh, is okay. You know, it's uh, it's got a rating of 2.7. You know, on the end, on the marketplace and, and Google, it needs a little bit of work, but it's definitely better than this one. But uh, the sound, it is magnificent. Build quality, impeccable. Connectivity, you got the options of XLRs or RCA. Plus, also the connection of uh, you know, if you want to put this uh, use it as a streamer i don't know why anybody will do that you know because you're paying premium price for this might as well use you know the streaming deck now let's talk about the hi-fi rose uh the hi-fi rose it is the champion of the display okay because display you can actually tell you know uh, that this plays a lot better and in here you have different options about what do you want to see or what do you want to hear because this device not only streams music but also streams uh, high quality 4k videos okay so this one it is it, it's a beauty it's uh it, it's it's great the advantage well some of the advantage that this one has over this too is that actually you can change the sound of this device depending on your speakers, depending on your likes, depending if you want more vocals, if you want more bass, if you want more uh, openness, depending on, on many factors, you can play with seven different filters that will produce seven different sound uh, characteristics on, on this device. Uh, this two, they sound one way and that is it, okay? Now, Let's talk about the bad things about each one of them, okay? We mentioned already that the only thing about this one is, uh, you know, the app. The Lumen, uh, the bad thing about this one is, is uh, well, the app also could be better. And uh, that is that is basically it. Also, the display uh, is, is just simple as that. Um, the bad thing about the Hi-Fi Rose, it is that it does not have a phono stage. Um, you cannot, you know, connect a, uh, a phono right here. And that is basically it. Now, the sound on them, it is great. This one is a Lamborghini. That's a Ferrari. That's a Bugatti. Or this is a Bugatti, Ferrari, Lamborghini, whatever. What I'm trying to say is that all of them, they sound great. They sound magnificent. Guys, we're in 2022. 
And I think the technology has come to a point that when you build a premium device like that, it's gonna sound great, okay? Also sounds depending on what speakers do you have, what cables are you using, what is your amp, what is your room like, things like that. But the device, I mean, they, they sound excellent, okay? Um, let's talk about pricing. Pricing, they're all about the same range. They're about, you know, $5,000. This is what that is, $5,000. This is just shy of five thousand dollars, four thousand nine hundred and ninety bucks. This is the more expensive one, which is uh, six hundred. I mean, six thousand four hundred dollars. Okay, so they're pretty much you know on the same you know price range. This is fourteen hundred dollars more. Uh, now the customer service on all of them, uh, I will say that the best customer experience that when you call and you have somebody right now. Uh, I gotta say that, I mean, as I, as I make this video, which is uh, October the, the 8th, I think, uh, you know, and possibly it's about COVID or things like that, but, but it takes about a couple of days to somebody get back to you or, or things like that. So, you know, Moon, it's, it's possibly the, the best experience, but when you call Moon, nobody picks up the phone and they call you a, a day or two later. Uh, Lumen, you never hear from them, and uh, Hi-Fi Rose, uh, you know, the Hi-Fi Rose, the customer service is through, through uh, you know, uh, Facebook and things like that. So that is basically it, uh, all three of them. If, if, if somebody asks me which one sounds better, I, I just said it. All three of them, they sound good, depending on what do you want, what is the look that you want to provide uh, or, or have, but uh, what display do you want to see? You know, it is it is totally up to you. Uh, in the case, I own all three of these. And, uh, you know, I'll make my decision whether, you know, to keep one, two, or all, all of them. You know, because I do enjoy them. Uh, part of my system, of course, um, it is the... Well, I think you guys have seen this already. I got the uh, uh, clear audio... Uh, concept turntable with a linear tube audio power supply highly recommend it uh, my favorite CD players is a Moran CD60 it has a ferment uh, power supply also with a Panamax my favorite favorite amp and uh, it, this is the Parasound 821 plus for some reason mine came with a John curl signature and then uh, my speakers in here have the Sonos Faber uh, Nova 5 uh, in piano black. And I also have two subwoofers, which they are JL. Okay. So there you have it, guys. That's my opinion on all three devices in here. Highly recommend it. The, which one do you choose? It is up to you. You will not go wrong with any one of those three. And... Uh, that is that is my take on that uh oh this one does not have a remote although i think you can buy it separately but you know out of the box it does not have a remote this two have remotes but again all three of them you can uh just operate them with you know with your phone once you download the app it is totally you know up to you what what to do i think that all three of them are room ready so if you like room i don't i don't personally you know have room uh, but uh, that is it. So that is my take on that. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.